Hey guys, what's up, Sinji here, and we're bringing you a brand new tutorial. This is going to be how to solo the Nightfall Strike, and it's going to be on Secreon. So basically, one of the main tips that I can give you here is not to rush into this first room, and to basically take your time. Time is not important, getting sent back to orbit is going to be very annoying. So for example, if you're a titan and you're supercharged with your ground smash, don't just run in there and ground smash everything, because you're going to take a lot of damage. Now what I do know titans can take a lot more damage compared to other classes, if you're a warlock and you're actually using your void, like so for example, you do want the grenades that do track, they're going to help to take out some of the little shitty mobs for you. And the main thing is, when you've got your Nova Bomb, use it very wisely, don't just run into a pack, jump up and Nova Bomb straight down to the ground, because you're going to take a lot of damage while you're doing so. Right, so what you can see that I'm doing here is I'm just being cautious about where I'm going in case anything sneaks up on me behind. I'm actually using the Truth Rocket Launcher right now because it's a Void Rocket Launcher. And I'm also using the Apiums Epilogue, which is my primary, which also has Void damage on it. And there we go, that's an example of using the Nova Bomb, but you see how that dreg comes very close to me. You just want to be careful not to get mellied, not to get overly excited or anything like that. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my time and kill the little lads that are left until we get our new fresh spawn for the servitor number 2. Just going to use that tracking grenade just to take off a bit of damage on those. And we're actually backing off that because it's a 3 on 1 and their guns are actually more powerful when you're getting hit by quite a few of them. We're going to use the sniper which is the prudent sniper. And that's just going to help to take out things like your yellow ones. And basically two head traps on them and they'll be dead. And grenade there, so we're going to back off that. <laughs> the main tip that I can really give you with soloing the Nightfall Strike on Secreon is to take your time. One of the other things, the trickiest part of this is going to be coming up to the end where you need to kill all the Minotaurs. Now you'll have to forgive me. <sighs> I seem to have contracted man flu and you know us men, we basically die when we have it and that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I need somebody to look after me bros. There we go. So you can see the headshots on the captain and we were able to take the captain out nice and quick. Unfortunately these shanks keep ducking up and down. And my aim was absolutely awful for a second there. But we're just going to finish these off. And you can see on my health count how much damage they're actually doing to me. There we go, so we're just going to back off that, regen our health. Take our time, that's the main thing. Okay, so we got our eyes on the last servitor, which is in the right hand side, just there. Now what you're going to find is, you're going to find that you will get a lot of heavy ammo drops in this first room. So what you can afford to do, is you can afford to get rid of some of your rocket launchers. You can see that dreg just uh, sneaking up on me for a minute. Just going to jump up, rocket launcher to your face monster, and there we go. Right, that okay, will open the top deck. Now from the top deck you're going to get uh, three different ads that will come down the stairs. Sometimes they don't always come down the stairs, like for example if you've got ads left like I do at the minute, which is a Reaver Vandal and a Shank I think it was. It was either a Shank or a Dreg. 
There we go, he's one shot. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up pushing up. But what you want to do as well is you do want to reload your ammo as much as physically possible. So like there, you can see on the ground, I just pick up a little bit of ammo there. And we're actually going to go up this way because we can basically be in cover at the same time, make sure nothing's going to be sneaking up on us using those tracking grenades. And we'll just finish off the vandal there, and we've got one drag left, just checking the left side, right behind the corner, and we'll start taking out the noble vandals. And here they come. Two, and three. Right, so you've officially completed the first part of it. Now, there's a lot more parts that we're going to be going through. We're just going to go and pick up this random ammo here, because every little counts. Now the next room, what you're going to have is you're going to have some yellow vandals, I believe it's three of them. You're going to have some stealth vandals, which are going to be up in that left hand corner, and then you're going to have some more there. So I'm actually using my supercharger just to take out the shanks there. And we take out the first stealther, and here comes the reaver vandals. Now the good thing about the avions is you can just spray these and they'll go down pretty damn quick. There we go, so all three down in a matter of seconds. <coughs> right, so we're moving on, and we're just taking out the rest of the self as that. What we're going to do now is we're going to jump up, check if anyone's left alive, and there is. And you see he drops some heavy ammo, as well as some special ammo. Right, so that's that part down. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to move on. And just coming through here. Now, what you need to make sure, guys, is you need to make sure you're able to use a synth right at the end, or you already have a full seven rockets. Because what you're going to have to take out is a lot of minotaurs. And you're going to have to take them out pretty fast, so if you've not got the actual tracking on your rocket launcher, like me for example, I'm going to show you an effective way of doing so. You just need to be careful because you can get hit down pretty easily. <laughs> now for this part, this part is very simple for you guys. Just take your time, just kill the ads one by one. Just make sure nothing sneaks up on you. And we got a few goblins left as well. <coughs> this goblin, a little bit sneaker, but they're nice and easy to take out. We're moving on to this part, so we're going to use our sniper, and what we've got is we've got three different harpies. Now the sniper will take the shield down and kill the harpy pretty quickly. Yep, need to reload. And we're just going to finish off that second one. Is there a third? Yes, there is. Shoot him in the eyeball if physically possible. If not, just finish him off like so. Now, what you want to be careful of here, guys, is the spawns are two different sides. You're going to have normal goblin Z lots, but you're also going to have an Axis Goblin, which is going to have a Minotaur's weapon. You need to be careful of that Axis Goblin because that can hit you down fast and it can hit you down hard. You can see him right in front there. Luckily, he's shooting the door there, so we're not getting any form of splash damage from him. All we're going to do now is take out the normal Zealots, which don't really do much damage to you. <coughs> and we are moving on. This time, when we go outside, what we're going to do is we're going to switch to our sniper, because the main priority is going to be to take out the snipers, which are the Axis Hobgoblins. You can see them there right in the corner. All you want to be careful of when you come out of this is that there's no minotaurs that are going to be teleporting towards you while you're taking these out. 
because they can be sneaky sometimes, they can actually come up on you without you expecting it. You can see them there on the ground, got normal hobgoblins. Now my Atheon's epilogue, you can see how fast that takes the Minotaur down. I'm going to use the tracking grenade just to get rid of some of those Axis goblins. And then we're going to kill the last Minotaur, of which can't shoot me while I'm in this corner, so we've got a good viewpoint. Right, so that is the next part down for you guys. <coughs> okay. So we're just not pushing forward and we're just going to take out the goblins here lots one by one. Nice and easy. Easy like Sunday morning. And then we're going to move on. Right now the next part is going to be a lot of those goblins here lots and they're basically going to teleport towards you in a pack. Now all you really need to do is you don't need to waste your supers on them or anything like that. You can actually just spray them down. Although what I'm doing here is I am actually using my super. But you don't need to. I just did this just to save a little bit of time. Because I'm able to synth, so I'm no good for synths. And we'll take out the last one at the back. Right, so we're moving on to the final stage. Now, you don't want to stay up here too long because you'll end up getting the that's Minotaurs the just spawning behind you, and that's what you don't want. First two are going to be around about there. So you can see, we've just got an upgrade unlocked. Then we're going to jump down immediately because, like I said, you don't want them spawning behind you. I'm going to take out number two, number three, and you can see we've got another aiming, which is teleporting right towards us. So we're just going to jump up straight down to the ground and we'll take out number four which should leave around about one left now you can see he's actually coming towards me here now he's still there there he is and we'll take the last one out what that's going to do is it's going to spawn Secrium so if you come up onto this ledge then you jump onto this one then you jump onto this one now you need to do this nice and fast otherwise you're going to get a lot of splash damage from the boss. Even in normal mode the splash damage on this seems to have been increased to what it used to be. You'll have to excuse me a second, I kind of need to cough. <coughs> okay. Right, so basically what we've got is we've got seven rockets here, we've got our normal ammo and we've got our sniper ammo. What you're going to find out is when you're doing this solo you are going to run out of uh, ammo as well. So obviously if you've got a backup you can use the sniper rifle as well which is basically the unlimited ammo but obviously that sniper rifle is fire damage so it's not going to do as much damage as you wish it to do. So I'm going to stick with the rocket launchers, my avians as well as the sniper. Now the main thing on this is you don't want to do two jumps into one guys because if you do two jumps into one that boss can hit you down pretty easily. The main thing on this is if you are running out of ammo and you've got ads left, you need to focus those ads. So say for example if you actually do a synth with the rockets, take out the rest of the ads before you even consider focusing on the boss. Now the main reason for this is I will show you exactly what happened to a guy as well. Basically he got right to the end and what happened is the boss was on say give or take 5% health so he was only a rocket or two away so we thought he'd go for the rocket now before he went for the rocket he jumped up he got the splash damage like you see me get there and what happened is an axis goblin threw a grenade up straight at his feet and took the player out 
that is the main thing that you want to be careful of because it will take you down and all that hard work would have been for nothing. Now obviously on Sekryon when his shield's in front of him you don't want to be hitting the shield, you want to be hitting his eyeball as much as possible because that is going to be his weak point. Now it's like I said guys, this is going to take a while to show you yeah, because it's one of those you need to take your time with it even though it does take a little bit longer. Obviously you don't have to solo this boss but this is just a guide on how to solo it. This tactic will work for 3 players, 2 players or even 1 player. Now you can see the sniper rifle taking a 3.5k hit. Now what I've done as a warlock here, just to be safe, rather than use void because I'm not going to be able to use those Nova Bombs anyway, I'm actually switched over into Sun Singer because that will allow me to revive should anything go bad. So in other words, if you call it a fail save. Obviously other classes will have different abilities in order to do so, for example the Titan will be able to bubble shield if he's in a little bit of trouble. <clears throat> right, so we should have a new fresh set of mobs. You can see them all posted on the minimap. That will give them away from when they are spawned. And we're just going to try and conserve as much ammo as possible. And we're basically going to take them out nice and easy. Just one by one. Now you do want to watch out for the Axis of Goblins and take them out first and then you do want to take out the Harpy's Elot. I'm actually going to be using my Supercharger here because it's going to give me unlimited nades which will help me just to take out a lot of the mobs as fast as possible without having to waste too much ammo. Obviously you'll see a lot of ammo that will drop below you but if you drop down it's not good. You do have to be very skilled in order to survive that. It is possible, I've done it myself, but obviously I wouldn't recommend it. <clears throat> Especially with the perk that you get returned to orbit. Right, so there we go, we got most of the ads, we can only see one thing on the minimap now, so that's Secreon. So we can focus our damage back on Secreon for the time being. Now you see there, when I was one of my bar's health, what I'm doing is I'm just ducking down, avoiding the splash damage, I'm going to wait till my health regens and then I'm going to jump again and add some more damage, like so. Now that's the point where if you jump up again and you get hit, you will go down. use that little barrier to throw your grenades, it's a little bit harder to get your grenades onto the actual target. Okay, so I'm able to synth now, so what I've done is I've actually synth my rocket launchers, which are going to take off quite a bit of damage on him. It's not too much damage to be honest, but it's better than nothing. I'm going to end up jumping up again, aiming for that eyeball. We don't really get a clean hit there. We're just going to wait for the health to regen. Straight in the eyeball that one. So that will take off a little bit of bonus damage. Almost got a double nade. So there's one. We got a new fresh set of ads, and it's like I say guys, even though your ammo's low, you need to focus on these ads because they can take you down pretty easily.
So the main thing you want to do is make sure you don't fall down. Falling down is mainly if you go to the edge and that splash damage can actually push you off the edge. So don't go right to the edge, go there or thereabouts. <clears throat> Okay, so when there's a few ads left like this, we're just going to waste a rocket launcher straight into them. That'll help to clear out that pack. We've got our supercharger now. And we're just going to throw grenade number one. Let that do a bit of damage. You can see a Z lot right below. And you can see two goblin Z lots this way. So first of all, that will give you an idea of where everything is. I'm going to use the rocket launcher rather than my special right here. The reason being is there was a clunk of them. And now what I can do is I can end up using your special. Unfortunately, there's another clunk of them. I want to get rid of that half his e lock because that's going to do quite a bit of damage to us. And that will leave us with no ammo at the moment. So this is the part guys where you just want to take a little break if you want have a cup of tea or anything like that or if you just have a drink. Hell, you could even have a smoke if you wish. Just wait for your simps. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my grenades bit by bit. Sorry about that. This was me just messing around. I was a little bit bored. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to check that sim. We've still got 1 minute and 28 seconds. Now the only thing about using an AoE grenade is the Harpy Z lot is going to recognise it as an AoE just like Templar does and he's going to move away from the AoE. However this one's going to take out some of the Goblin Z lots. Now what I could have done here is I could have actually used my super. Just to cut time down a little bit but was primarily focused on getting my rockets back. Now I know the sniper will do more damage but the rocket will take out the ad a lot more. So you can see me using my super now, I'm just going to spam those nades. Now if you watch that Z-Lot, see how he's moving away from the AoE? There we go. We're just going to box him in there. And we'll take him out like so. Obviously there's a load of special, a load of normal, and even heavy ammo packs on the ground that you can use. But we're not going to be stupid, we're not going to just jump down there and grab those. We're just going to wait. Patience is a virtue, guys. You want us all away? Don't do anything stupid. You can see a lot of splash damage underneath there, so we're going to take out those ads first. Now we're going to save as many rockets as we can. We've got rid of the ads, so now we can damage the boss. We've been hit via the splash damage. So we're just going to wait and jump up again after the grenade. Ready? And glide up and in the eyeball. Glide up and in the eyeball. Okay, so we got a fresh set of ads, so this time the boss is on very low. And what we're going to do is just finish him off with the two rockets there. And there we go, guys. That is how to solo Secreon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you do like the videos. And obviously what we're going to do now is we're just going to take out these random ads. We can just grab a bit of ammo here and just kill them off one by one. Not very hard to take out once you've got ammo.
And we're going to see exactly what I get from the Nightfall Strike. Just picking up the ammo. Okay. Right, so this will give you the stats at the end. Kills 170, assist nil, orbs nil. And um, we get 10 Ascendant Energies. Peace out.